much more recognizable. I just want to let you know that even when things seem rough, I know most of you are saying the results are coming out. What am I going to do next? One thing I want to tell you is that you need great friends. And I stress great friends that will encourage you to do the right thing. Because I was all bent on going to the USA. And all the ties I had were my CXC exam grades and the shirt USA Be Strong. So during the summer of 1983, I stopped, uh, you know, my, my friend Claudia Curry came to me and she said, I saw an ad in the newspaper, I told you about great friends, why not let us go to Exit Community College? And we went for the interview, well I went kicking and screaming, but I was accepted. And I did one year at Exit, one year at Exit, and two years at CAST. After I graduated, and mark you, I never failed any of my exams. And teachers, this is where you come in. Always, and I say always, make sure you speak well to your students. Always an encouraging word. My professor at Exed asked me one day, where do you see yourself next year? And in my mind, I'm saying, is he saying that I'm not going to be promoted to near to go to cast obviously that's what he was saying but to let you know only 13 of, out of the 38 students all our subjects to go to cast and I was one of the 38 let me tell you something I was one of the 13 and I can tell you this years later while I was working at workers bank I saw him come into the bank and he said to me um, it was making noise in the banking center and you know I came out and I was the auditor at the time you know when even you're an auditor you walk into the bank everybody's on their P's and Q's sitting just like you ladies are sitting today and he said and look at this I gave you all human resources that's the same teacher that never encouraged me teachers you don't know where you're gonna meet your next student they might be that doctor in the operating room. They might be that auditor in the bank that's going to let you skip the line. In the past year, I've spoken at several graduations, and I'm now known as the One Word Wonder. The reason I use one word is to bring across my message with an acronym. You see, I'm of the opinion, and I know that when you speak to 181 students, there's no way that all 180 or 181 students will get the message. But the one thing I want to let you know, that if it is so, at least seven of you will get this message on tonight. You see, as I'm talking about purpose, I just want you to remember that your purpose will never die. But because I understand that I'm connected to greatness, I always see myself in the big picture. The picture with my Lord Jesus Christ carrying me like footprints in the sand. As when I got saved 16 years ago, he told me, the battle is not mine, but is. And then I realized that it was synonymous with our motto, after the battle, the reward. Well, purpose comes with some battles. I have failed several times. I have made wrong choices. But I, because I know that my reward is imminent, I rise and remind myself that the Lord is with me and he will never lead me nor forsake me. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. You see, I am a designer's original and so are all of you. All 181 of you are designers original. Keep that in your mind. Amen? P, at this time, I'm going to ask Onelia to stand out. Onelia, P means to push hard. Don't give up. The push comes with a process. And many times we want to realize the purpose, but we don't want the process. My process at Holy Childhood High School was awesome. 
I had so much fun. I learned so much from the teachers. I still see Mr. Lloyd Allen here from 1984. And let me tell you, that was amazing. When I saw him, I was like, Mr. Lloyd Allen, I, I'm like, I know I'm 51 years old, but how old are you that you're still here at Holy Childhood High School? So, Onelia, your P is to push hard. And everyone else, remember, push hard. You, Tajara, is unity. Don't forget your Holy Childhood High School sisters. Unity is strength. 33 of us from the class of 83 just vacationed in a resort in Jamaica. And it was here that we, when we met up and we spoke against each other. Remember I told you about my friend that brought me to Exit Community College. Let me tell you something. When I went for the interview at Bank of Jamaica, they hired me on the spot as a senior supervisor because I was qualified. She was the one that also took me to Victoria Mutual to open up my first bank account with $2. Amen. Friends are important. Our Janino Coley and my Fatima representative. I have to give her some respect. Respect goes a far way. Always show love and respect for others. And not R that I want to admonish you about this evening is risk. Life will throw you some curveballs and risks will come your way. But do the right thing and trust God to lead you. Rise. Yes, rise above your challenges. There were so many that came my way, but I've not allowed them to hold me back. The Bible talks about the seven streams of income in, in Ecclesiastes, or eight, lest there be disaster on the land. P is for Brittany Thomas. Brittany, prominence is your word. Many of us start with humble beginnings, and I'm going to ask Brittany's parents to stand with Brittany. I used to watch the other kids two parents and envy them because I grew up with only my mother and envy them and later I found out the reason that one particular family was always in school was to give their daughter a shot of insulin. So I was there, you know, looking at the students that had two parents because I only had my mom and envying them because envy is something that will come your way but let me tell you something when envy and jealousy come your way remember to send it back to the pit of hell you have to learn to honor your friends you have to learn to celebrate your friends and why i ask Brittany's parents to stand with her it's because must honor your parents you must understand that parents are important and to know that many of us still don't know how to honor our parents I'm gonna ask our own principal because the P is also for principal could you also get principal our own sister Maxine McIntosh for me oh Cornelia Thomas is for opportunity when it comes knocking on your door, seize them. You do not have to wait. Be very optimistic about life. When I was about to get promoted to the bank, I opened up an account for a woman that was fraudulent. Yes, I failed at that point. They held me back for six months. But during that six months, I proved myself. And right after six months of being held back in Bank of America, I was promoted to being in charge of eight branches. And if that was enough, two months later, they asked me to be in charge of nine more. I was in charge of 17 branches. Even although six months before, I would have been considered a failure in Bank of America because of a mistake that I made. That setback was a comeback for a bigger opportunity. Chandra, please come. S is for Donnell Campbell. Donnell, success is relative. My success at Bank of America, ladies and gentlemen, was awesome. But the greatest success to date is becoming an evangelist and saving souls for the kingdom. That was my call from God. Your success depends on who you see yourself to be. As we need doctors for the sick, ladies and gentlemen. We need teachers to educate us. We need 
fivefold ministers for the body of Christ. We need nuns for the body of Christ. We need entrepreneurs, investors, and the list goes on. Be the best that you can be. Don't allow society to get to you. You get to society. Be a mentor and don't be afraid to be a mentee. E, last but not least, Andresia Smith. Education without which I would not be standing here. As I said, maybe some of you didn't realize, I was here at Holy Child High School for five and a half years, right after sports day. I was one of the few that they allowed during that time to be house captain in lower sixth form. I decided I was going to walk out of school. Well, I stopped in my own way. But I realized later on how important education is that I should have stayed, but God had a different plan for me. You see, I was wondering who should I quote as I close. There was a lady here that attended school with us. Her name is Tanya Maine Hernandez. Now, she was the head girl of Holy Child High School in 1985. In 1983, she was held back. She repeated fifth form and went on to be the head girl. Now she lives in Canada. And not only is she there living with her family, she's into the arts, she's, she does poetry. She, she's just an amazing woman of God. And she wrote this poem for you guys. Fearfully and wonderfully made my purpose to root. Long before I entered the world stage, long before I was formed in my mother's womb. From birth to earth, purpose took shape in the seed of my soul. It strengthened and blossomed through life's vagaries, tried to take its toll. Purpose grew strong vibe, unflinching defeat. Every obstacle, every challenge, every ne negative word or deed. As purpose proves and perfects me, I rise up like a towering grapevine, vigorous, producing sweet fruits like vintage wine. God, my purpose has positioned me for success to make my debut performance each day. Watch me, watch you, watch every one of you make your better best. Purpose is your intent to be great, to do something that God will be pleased. So when he comes, he can say to each and every one of you, well done, my good and faithful servant. Know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are the called unto his purpose. Many are called, few are chosen, but few choose to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Brittany, you are the valedictorian. And many of you know I have a giving heart. Sometimes I want to stop myself. But I want, I'm going to ask Chandra, she graduated with me also in 1983 to present this laptop to Brittany for your hard work, for your success, and for all that you have achieved. Chandra. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Go ahead and give it to her. Or you want her to come up? Wow. That's good. Ladies, make yours.